2013. Oh, yes, this is the Nicky Spence one. Yeah. It started in the early 1990s because when I came to the company in 1997, it was already fairly established and it was pointed out to me that I would have to provide a programme um, for the next essential Scottish Opera tour, as it was, um, and I've done that ever since. This was the one that I put the executioner's song from Inés de Castro in. I had letters about that. It's too graphic! <laughs> We have a duty of care as Scottish, Scotland's National Opera Company to go to these places and to offer the best quality performance that we can. That's why the programme has to be very varied each year. There hasn't been a single piece in any programme that I don't like. Um, so, Because I, 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 I reckon if I don't like it, then perhaps the singers don't like it. And, and I try and work in things that the singers will, will enjoy singing or perhaps things they, they may not yet have considered that they could sing. One of the nice things about the programme is it gives the opportunity to investigate some of the highways and byways of the operatic repertoire. And I'm very pleased that over the years we've, we've scraped a lot of barrels to find pieces that are not repertoire. I think about 10 years ago now we had a, a song from Spamalot, which of course isn't an opera, um, but it's such a good song. It's the song, the song that goes like this. There's a little bit of a revolutionary streak um, sometimes that, that, um, that comes out. Yes. Happy days.